More than 2.1 million phone books are making their way onto Northeast Ohio lawns. And for some, it's a book that just collects dust. On your side, consumer reporter Jen Strothman shows you a way to get those deliveries stopped. Well, if you're wondering why you've only gotten the yellow pages this year, it's because AT&T isn't printing the white pages anymore. So when can we expect these ad-filled yellow pages to disappear? used to be just Ohio Bell back in the day. Now there's AT&T, Verizon, and Windstream, and they all have their own version of the phone book, whether it's user-friendly, super yellow, or just the real yellow pages. Lorna Diatri's Brexville home ends up with them all. Can you imagine how many trees are in these phone books for the whole United States? <laughs> and it's crazy. The Yellow Pages Association says yellow is green because books are printed on recycled paper with soy-based ink. That just made me laugh when I said eco-friendly. They're not being eco-friendly at all. Lorna recycles her books at our local metro park, but she wonders how many people don't. 277,000 phone books are recycled each year by the Cuyahoga County Solid Waste District, but that's only 11 percent of what AT&T delivers. If you throw it in your garbage can, it goes to a landfill and there it will sit forever. That's like tossing away money. These useless books have value. The county is paid to drop the books at the recycler. The recycler then sells bales of books to a Canadian mill. There your phone book is transformed into newsprint. It's a process the county expects will continue for years. We would like to see more producer responsibility in terms of looking at um, electronic phone books, and we're seeing more and more of that. AT&T launched a virtual Yellow Pages book that allows you to browse page by page. And if you're like Lorna and want to stop the phone book delivery for good, there's a website that allows you to opt out. I will do it, but I have a feeling they just dump them at your mailbox. The Solid Waste District says it's not uncommon to find brand new phone books recycled, meaning fewer consumers use them. If you want to go completely paperless, we put the virtual Yellow Pages site on Newsnet5.com. Plus, I put a number on there that I use all the time for free 411 service. I haven't paid a dime in years to call information. On your side, Jen Strapman, News Channel 5.